on the, the New Testament order for church and missionary. And I began to sco- discover, first of all, in his book, that there was a New Testament order. That Christ had given order for his church and established it in the New Testament. And then it became my goal and my purpose to discern that down to the finest point that I could find. And so I said, I'm going to start in the New Testament where the the message concerning the church begins. And where does the message directly concerning the church begin in the New Testament? Matthew 18, tell it to the church. So I said, well, here's something very clear. If they're sinning in the church, you go to the person. If they don't repent, you take two or three witnesses. If they don't repent, you tell the whole church. If they don't repent, you throw them out. So I remember, this was right after I came to Grace Church. That's what we're going to do. And I kind of tested that idea with a few pastor friends, and they said, you'll be out of there in months. You can't do that. No one ever heard of a church that did that. Did, Did you hear me say that? No one ever heard of a church that did that. I had never heard of a church, and I've been raised in a church. My grandfather, my father, pastors, they were in associations of of churches. I never heard of any church that did that. None. They said, you'll empty the church. You can't do that. You can't confront sin. You can't tell your people that if they see another believer in sin, they have to go to that person, confront the person, and if the person doesn't listen, they have to go get some people to gang up on them and then come and tell the authorities and the authorities in the church, the leaders, the pastors of the church, tell the whole church. I said, but this is what Christ said. This is not, this is not optional, right? He's the one who said this, and it's the first instruction to the church. First. So I said, we're going to do it. So I said, I told the people, if you know somebody in sin, confront them. Uh, if they don't repent, take two or three witnesses, and if they still don't repent, come and, and let the elders know, and we'll tell the whole church, and if they still don't repent, we'll throw them out, and we'll make those announcements on Communion Sunday. Well, you know, people were gasping for air, but I said, I believe that Christ wants a pure church, and I believe that those who are Christ's want a pure church, and that rather than drive people away, This will drive unbelieving people away, but it will become a haven for the true believer who longs to honor Christ and who wants that accountability. Well, that was when we had a few hundred people. And in two years, the church doubled. And in two years, it doubled again. And in two years, it doubled again. And it doubled again. And it went to 2,000. It went to 2,500. And we did it continually, continually the same way. I never heard of any church doing that, but I didn't have an option. I didn't have an option. I can't edit Christ. 